Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Jira Roadmap tutorial, we are going to learn about some of the key concepts within Jira Roadmap. For example, how you can create the issues within Roadmap for the project, then how you can link those issues to the parent issue and ranking of the issues is very important to understand. Along with that, how you can create the teams within Roadmap and associate the work to those particular teams. Then we'll understand about the bulk editing of the issue from the Roadmap itself and then tracking the work progress so these are some of the key concepts that are very important to be understood within Jira roadmap so that you can track the work progress of the different projects within roadmap under your portfolio very efficiently so before we proceed further I would like to mention that this video is sponsored by Jexo an innovative company that builds work planning apps for Jira cloud one of their plug-and-play apps Swanly is a comprehensive project project management tool that offers easy centralized access to information across Jira projects and teams so you can maximize efficiency while planning and tracking work. Check the link or description below for more on Swanly. Thank you. So let's get started. So I'm here in the Jira roadmap and this is the advanced roadmap. So this is the paid version and this is the advanced roadmap. So say for example, to create an issue, you'll clearly see that there is a create issue link here. We'll simply click on it and then you can create an epic or story. Okay. So let's go ahead and create an epic. So I have created these two different projects already. So iOS and Android. Say for example, as part of my portfolio when I'm launching my website I also want to launch the iOS app and the Android app as well so I have different teams so there is an iOS team and then there is an Android team who will be working on the different applications different mobile applications and then there will there is a team which will do the website so for example this company management or company managed project which is roadmap B Kanban right and some other examples of the projects here so say for example I want to create an epic in the iOS app I'll select that and then simply provide the issue summary right so I will simply say portal registration so this is say for example my high level uh, user story or basically the epic which will have multiple user stories below that right so that epic is created and now you will see that iOS app is listed and displayed because previously there were no issues so that's why it was filtered out as soon as there will be issue within the project you will see that project will be listed in here as well okay and to make sure that these projects are selected I have basically went to the configure and issue sources right so you have to make sure whichever project you want to plan in the Jira advanced roadmap you have to make sure that in the issue shows issue sources you have to go back and add those sources or add those projects or the board into the issue sources okay so let's go back to the plan and add some more items there okay so I'll add the course catalog in a different project and let's add one story each so from here say for example I want to create an issue I'll say story and in this case I'll say Android app and this story you'll see that I'll choose a story the type from the drop down and then I'll just say sample story one right and similarly sample story 2 and here as soon as I create those you will see that these two issues are without the parent so that means they are not assigned to any of the parents so there is no root story that has been assigned to parent so this is the second point that we want to cover so link issue to a parent how we can do that let's quickly go ahead and understand now say for example I want to assign this particular sample story 1 a parent so I can simply just select that okay and then drop it at so after highlighting so as soon as you will see let me do it again the second one so I just drop it at the level of the epic for which this particular story is a child okay and automatically that linking will happen and you'll see that now zero issues without parent right so there are no issues here that are without parent and these stories have been associated a parent so this is one of the way that you can directly do other option in this case could be once you have the story numbers or the ID numbers for these issues that you have created say for example at the moment these 
these are these issues are only specific to the board they haven't been created in jira yet so if you go to the review changes you will see that these are created okay but they haven't they are not saved so these changes are not saved in jira so that is that is why you won't see any of the items or the numbers for these issues so unless and until you save selected changes in jira it won't get saved into jira it is still specific to only this plan okay so this is basically the second part of linking the issue to a parent okay now let's quickly go ahead with the ranking of the issues so now you will see that this item right this number is appearing okay and similarly here only one epic is there so this number but if i go to this particular project there are multiple epics and you will see that there are there are this numbering is appearing so this is basically ranking of those epics to change the ranking it's same simple process you can just drag and drop issues across the project and the ranking of the issues will change say for example portal registration has the highest rank needs to be completed first i'll just drag and drop portal registration at the first place and this epic is now ranked as number one now ranking these epics won't impact the ranking of the issues that are within that epic okay so say for example this three six five eleven four this is the ranking of the issues then if i change the ranking of portal registration from first to third the internal issues will still be ranked the same way similarly internally as well you can just drag and drop the issues to rank the issues internally the number won't appear internally the number will be appeared at the higher level or the epic level okay so this is how you will change the ranking of the issues in your jira advanced roadmap planning let's move next creating the team and assigning the issues okay that's very important as well now once you have all the issues within your Jira roadmap, you want to basically see who this particular team is that will be working on these items, right? So to get the team list here, so you simply go to the fields and search for team and add the team field, okay? So you'll see that at the moment, there is no team that is there, okay? If I expand here, I can select the teams, right? But there are no teams added. So in order to add the teams, what we can do is we can go to this top level planning. All right. So just just drop down and you can see that teams is here. Click on teams and there are no teams that have been added yet. OK, so I'll click on team and I can add an existing shared team. Now, there is a concept of private team and a shared team. When we say private team, so private teams are the teams in roadmap that are available only for a, a particular plan. So say, for example, this RCV Academy plan one will be only having access to this private team. However, if we have the share team, that team can be accessed by any number of plans that you create in this advanced roadmap. OK, so let's create a private team first and then I'll name it as Android um, iOS team and choose the project to iOS app, leave it to Scrum and a velocity point, whatever velocity your team has, identify and put that velocity iteration, usually two weeks we follow in Scrum. So that's sort of a standard at maximum places. If you have three weeks or four weeks iteration, just update that. To add the user, simply select the dropdown, start searching and click on create team, right? So private team has been added. To create a shared team, click on manage share teams and here you will get an option to create a team right so here i will say android team and click on create and you will see the the android team which is share team has been created now if we go to the plan again let's go to teams and now in order to have that shared team available here in this plan what you have to do is you have to again say add team right and you have to say add an existing shared team and from the drop down you have to add that android team here okay and now this is shared team and this is plan only team okay so basically now if we want to edit right so to edit this android team that we have added in this plan we'll simply click on edit and now you can start Start adding the members in the share team which is specific to this plan okay and then associate this share team with an Android app this is a bit tr tricky but that's you know how the design has been so you have to create a share team then you have to add it to the plan whichever plan you want to add it to plan only team will be specific to plan and which which makes sense right I mean share team you you add it and then you update the velocity point sprint length etc accordingly and that's how the usual design is now, once you have added these teams, we go to the top level planning again 
and we can associate the now you will see that teams are available here and now because this is android so i know this is the work item for the android team and during the planning i'll simply choose the android team there and for the other one i'll choose the ios team and now you'll see the plan only team is highlighted here because this is the plan only team all right so this is basically how you will create team and assign issues to the team now the next thing is bulk edit issues and track work progress which is very important so once you have done this planning is basically you know uh, adding the start and end date and there is a lot of work that goes into the planning it is not an easy activity i'm here able to explain you how you are going to navigate and do things but planning in itself requires a lot of effort communication across the team across your portfolio across multiple project managers that will be working with you and you as a portfolio lead need to manage all of that and then come up with that planning accordingly and update this whole plan right now the next thing is basically bulk edit issues which is very important so say for example you want to change something in the issues directly from the portfolio okay so in this two issues I can select these issues bulk issues okay and I want to change some statuses or something so you select multiple issues that you want to change and then you will see that bulk actions appear and now here you can change the assignee so rather than changing these assignees one by one so say for example you want to change the assignee right so change the assignee in in a bulk say for example i want to assign these many issues to rcv tutorials or any any users right so say for example tom so you select that person and apply directly from the plan okay so this will expedite your over, overall process then you can change the date or the rank or release so there are a lot of options i can change the date uh, t team as well i can choose the team like i want to assign all of these items that i have selected to the android team so instead of doing one by one all of the options or all of the issues have been updated automatically with that particular team so this is how you will do the bulk change within the jira advanced portfolio now the last item which is which is track work progress very very important now tracking work progress you first have to go to the fields and see what fields are available right so if you click on the choose fields you will see that you can track the progress by issue count and track the progress by story points okay so if your team is updating the story points properly you will get the progress of the story points here how many story points the total uh, story points were allocated to this particular epic and then how many of those are completed right so remaining completed and total you will get all of those details here for that particular issue if you hover over you'll get all of those details so for, say for example here there were six story points unestimated um, uh, issues are six and there was no estimation done so you'll get all those details here the other progress is based on the issue count you will select the issue count and you will see that based on how many issues are there within that particular epic what is the exact status how many of them are done or in progress or to do you will get those details in the progress okay so this is a brief about the overview section of the jira advanced roadmap and what all you can do in order to create issues linking issues ranking etc then creating teams and assigning the issues directly from the teams then bulk editing issues and tracking work progress right then and there from the jira advanced roadmap once you have done all of these and you are say for example happy after that you will be doing a lot of planning right i mean this whole planning you will be doing and we'll cover the auto planning and uh, manual planning when you will do the plan of these activities what why these warnings are appearing we'll cover all of that once you are done then you'll see that review changes right you'll see 14 changes we have done we need to review unless and until we review and save these changes in jira none of these changes will go and update in jira right so all of the issues that we have created you'll see that they are still not created that we don't have any unique identifier for these issues that we have created right from the portfolio so you have to save the selected changes and these changes will then get updated and saved into jira and this list will then disappear okay so you won't see any of the changes that need to be addressed once this saving happen so you'll see now there is nothing no warning as such or no update or no um notification for the review changes 
okay and if you see here the android app now you will see these issues are having the numbers that means they are being saved into jira and now this is in sync this plan is in sync with the jira issues okay so that's all for this particular tutorial i hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching